Today we're going to talk about the end game content for Outriders and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to another video. Warning, this video contains spoilers that are not shown in the Outriders demo. So, if you don't want any spoilers, please leave the video right now. You have 5 seconds. You have been warned. So, today we are going to talk about the Expeditions in Outriders, which is the end game content. This content is only available in the full game and not in the demo. And if you don't know, the full game of Outriders actually is released on April 1st, 2021. However, given that the story is said to be 40 hours, we may not even get to the end game on the day one unless you skip all the cutscenes. Let's get into the video with some important information that is going to catch your eye. When Outriders is released, the max character level will be 30, but your weapons and gear can reach level 50 in Expeditions. So, you finished the campaign and you got all this crazy armor and weapons, and you're probably wondering what to do next, right? Well, the endgame content in Outriders is extensive and vast. For the Expeditions, there will be many mysterious points and interests scattered around Enoch. There will be new mysteries to uncover, as well as new stories to unravel. New resources that you will need in order to upgrade even more powerful weapons and armor. Let's just say the endgame content is not for the faint of heart. The Outriders endgame is definitely more geared towards the advanced players to actually really test their skills. Yes, I did say advanced, so although you casual players, this may not be for you or it may take you a lot of time to actually get to this point when you'll be ready for the end game. Once you beat the main storyline, you will find yourself at a new camp with a new station. At this station will be a map that shows you many new areas not seen in the main game for you to explore. While playing the Outriders Expeditions, you will not, and I repeat, you will not be playing any recycled content from the main campaign of the game which, in my opinion, is a huge breath of fresh air compared to other games. There are many points of interest like the Outriders Camp, Boomtown, Time Worn Spire, Arcway of Enoch, Stargrave, Frontline, the Marshland Caverns, Chemplant, Mountain Outpost, and many more. Expeditions are huge, new, vast areas that have their own mechanics, challenges, and storylines. Yes, more story, and I'm already loving it. But before starting an expedition, you will be introduced to what is called Challenge Tiers. Challenge Tiers are kind of like World Tiers with a little twist. The faster you are completing the expedition mission, the better the loot, but also you won't get any loot from the enemies directly, and instead, all the loot will drop after completion of the expedition. You will be given four attempts for each expedition that you try. If you fail all of them, then you won't get that good of loot at the end. Challenge tiers also select the difficulty of the mission as well. The higher the challenge tier, the higher the enemy level, and the more loot that you actually get. This includes higher rarities of gear as well. The more challenge tiers you unlock allows you to go to new locations for other expeditions. After unlocking all 15 challenge tiers, you actually get to go to the final expedition. And the final expedition is called Eye of the Storm. That doesn't sound scary at all. <laughs> During the main campaign, we will have access to modding and crafting gear. While in the main campaign, it would be more of an option, during expeditions, you will be encouraged to mod and craft your gear in order to take advantage of all of the various challenges ahead of you. There are mods in the game that can give you a little taste of another character's abilities. And for example, if you are a Pyromancer and you have a weapon that has the Golem Ryzen mod on it, it will allow you to take advantage of the Devastator's Golem skin for about a few seconds. Speaking of mods, there are two different types of mods and I will touch on them real briefly. You have general mods that boost and alter how your weapons and armor work. Then you have skill mods that are class specific and help boost your skill abilities 
but can only be applied to armor. All mods are put into three tiers, tier 1 through 3, and you can collect them by dismantling any gear that has them. Mods on all items can be dismantled and found on different rarities of gear except for legendary gear. Only the mods on legendary gear can be found on other legendary gear, and most of legendary mods are all tier 3. But one important thing to note, that if a weapon already has two mods slotted into it, you can only change one of the mods. But if it only has one mod, then you'll be able to change that one mod and add another. As for crafting, you will be able to take a weapon or armor of a lower rarity and upgrade a rarity and or make it stronger by leveling it up. Not only can you change the rarity of a weapon or upgrade its attribute, you can also change the variant of a weapon from a standard version to a tactical or sharpshooter version. Now, this will vary depending on the variant of the type of weapon you are trying to change and you can actually unlock more variants as your character progresses. So, that is currently everything we know about Expeditions for the full game of Outriders. And I will let you guys know that once we get more information, I will definitely be giving it to you in a future video. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys are most excited about when it comes to the game. I can tell you right now, this game is gonna be amazing with all of the customization options for our armor and weapons, and it's going to be insane. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Also, don't forget to join the Everything Outriders Discord. It's a place for the entire Outriders community to make friends, have fun, do some LFG, get tons of information about the game such as pre-order content, patch notes, and future expansion updates as well. It's growing every day, so come and join us. A link to the Discord will be on screen and in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next one.